Morning legends, I'm down here at Richardson Park in South Perth. I've just done an hour session with young Shrias, working on his fitness as much as his cricket, making him run in between scoring shots, making him bat as if it's a game and sort of improve his fitness. His fitness isn't very good at the moment, so really pushing him, pushing his mental barriers as well as his physical barriers. He absolutely hates it and he's uh, not fit at all, so just really pushing him to improve that those fitness levels and maintain concentration while he bats. It's all happening down here with the England game here on the weekend. England versus Cricket Australia 11. So it is all happening. They've got the picket fence up. They've got the, uh, the containers arriving. They've got the groundsmen here. They've got all sorts going on. The ground's looking an absolute treat with the picket fence. Although it is a bit high. So I don't know if people sit behind it, if they're even going to see the be able to see the action but look at this beautiful blue sky here in Perth they've put up big sight screens and uh, yeah it looks like it's all getting ready they've got the marquees over there all getting ready here's the groundsman's roller all getting ready for the game on the weekend should be interesting good for the Perth public to see the um, English boys in action before the test starts next week G'day legends Teak here again just doing some admin for Tom in the car. Feel beauty, just had him sending a few messages as I drive. Obviously not good to text and drive, so got my little PA here helping me. We're uh, got another fun day ahead. No fitness this time, eh, big fella? Yes. So we're, uh, we're just off to do some coaching, and then we're gonna have a hit at Muleman's, and then a bit more coaching the Savo. Um, been at home the last couple of hours. Just getting a few bits and pieces done, talking cricket, showing him how the video editing works and a few other things. Um, how you been going the last couple of weeks, Tiggy boy? Oh, uh, all right. I've got an 11, which I played a dumb shot, and then I got a 79. And yeah, that was it for last weekend. 79, he's, uh, he's going well. He's very hard on himself. He sets himself a high standard, which is good, but it's also um, can be detrimental at times when people don't feel like they're going as well as they are, but he's going very well, as you guys will see on the video later today. Young, dumb, broke high school kids. Getting that head over your foot. Front foot. Head over your front knee, and then strong with that top wrist. shorter step head forward when you take a big step like we spoke about before yeah. you then push at it because your head's back yeah stack good boy nice beautiful fluent swing good boy solid okay don't rush so check your feet a ball like that when you sort of play it you can get feedback okay check your feet were they in a good position or should you have been further across try and learn well done well watched yeah good boy nice solid defense remember you don't want to block them any wider than mid off or mid on nice and straight that was good Yep, so what's that telling you about where your body's going? I'm 
falling over a bit? Not really, you're not falling across because then you'd probably be playing that way. You're actually staying a bit leg side of it. Okay, so that one you could have gone a bit more at it and hit it straighter. Yeah. Yeah? It's got Declan Bowen to Teague. Nice little contest. We've got a state 12 schoolboy in Declan. We've got a state 15 squad member in Teague. So good little battle between these two, Melville boy and Rockingham. Good cricket, boys. The future of WA cricket. Oh, stop that. At Muleman's just about to have a hit because I can't get to training this afternoon. I've got a function on, so getting my hitting done during the day, making sure I'm uh, hitting enough balls ready for the weekend. Having a uh, having a throw down and flick with Jakey. Going to start with some underarms and then go into the flicker and just uh, about as if it's a game. Just smashing a quick subway for lunch. Late lunch, ten past three. Now about to give Tiggy boy a hit. Working on his on drive. G'day legends, just finished a hit, Skullsy, now feeding some balls to a young gun, Will Glover. How was that? Yeah, good, you hit him well, the young bloke, young TV. You. Good, solid. Pushing that one, head at the line the ball. Excellent, head lined up here, but look where the ball's come. Wally, your back hand's doing nice and straight. Brilliant. Just finished a good session with Tommy Boy, who you can, as you can see in the background, has hit loads of balls. How you hit him, Tommy? I went alright, yeah. So, uh, can you just tell our viewers how old you are? 14. Okay, who are you playing for? Cosmos. And how did you go last game? Yeah, I went alright, mate, 22. What was the team score? Uh, I think it was 4 for 25. And Tommy was 22, not out. He's playing well at the moment. What have you been focusing on? Uh, probably my drives. Um, shorter step. Yeah. Get my balance. Yeah. We've just been building confidence in your stroke play a bit, haven't we? Yeah. You feeling more confident? Yeah. Feeling sort of calm and clear when you go out to the middle? Yep. Awesome. And the results are starting to show, which is great. We've only been working together for about a month, but he's hitting the ball beautifully. Keep it up, mate. Thanks. Coaching done. Had uh, three great lessons and got a bottle of champagne from Teague's mum, which is always nice to get a present from the parents. I uh, really appreciate their support. Just been on the phone to my good mate, mate Angus Horsey Robson, uh, former Leicestershire and Sussex opening batsman, one of my good mates and someone I speak to all the time about cricket, um, life in general. We share ideas and he's a big supporter of the vlog, so always great to chat to him and get some feedback. He's always got some good ideas for the vlog, so great chat to him. Now just getting home, going to get changed and get ready and then I'm out to a uh, networking function which should be good. Coaching skulls has got changed to socialising skulls. I've got Mrs S here who's dropping me into the city. Uh, you know. skulls, not. <laughs> She's a good egg. Hello vlog. Mrs. I'm not driving, I'm stationary. Just Mrs so S is not happy because she never gets to spend any time with me. <laughs> 
poor thing. I'm always out coaching or working, and now I'm going out to a function. Mm. Poor Mrs. S. I'm lucky to have such they a call good us, wife. They call us the cricket widows because not only does he play cricket on Saturday and Sunday, but then he coaches every night of the week and doing cricket mentoring. But I'm very proud of him, and he's working hard, and he loves all you guys. Um, you're his inspiration, and you motivate him, and so keep supporting cricket mentoring. You're beauty. Absolutely cracking night here in the West. <laughs> In, uh, on a rooftop with a few good eggs.